Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was an absolutely beautiful day. In fact, let me show you how pretty it was outside. It's a perfect day. I'm going to show you I cleaned the chicken house today so that you can see it when it's this is what it looks like when it's absolutely perfect. I cleaned it out earlier. It's such nice weather on out here. I have shirt sleeves on. And I see I got two eggs. We'll get the two eggs that are here. Because it's a beautiful day outside, I've let Mr. Brown be outside. Oh, there you are, Mr. Brown. Hello. Well, come here. Come. I've got something for you. My granddaughter said, he's getting really big. Well... He is getting big, but to me, whoops, there it is. He doesn't seem like it to me. If you notice, oops, you got a wood chip on the back of you. He's starting to get those real skinny feathers. He still doesn't have much of a crown on his head, but he's starting to get the real, real skinny, skinny feathers on the back side of him. There's the back side of his feathers. Where are you going, Mr. Brown? You are such a pretty boy. The kids were here. They did their schoolwork, and they got to play outside. They rode their bikes. Well, they rode the bikes that I have out there. In fact, um, Kyle came in and he said, I'm going to ride that blue bike, which is a bigger bike. He's been riding a, a little bit smaller one, but he, he got the big bike out today. He didn't like it at first because, you know, the kids think that their feet have to be on the ground. I learned how to ride a bike on a 24 inch so your feet are not going to touch the ground when you're six years old and you're learning how to ride a bike that's way bigger than you and it was a boy's bike so I used to get up on a stump or, a, or the step the front step and push off and then I used to go through the grass and up the little there was like a little divot you had to go up to get onto the driveway to get onto the road and that's how I learned how to ride. And then if you wanted to get off, you used to swing your leg over and jump and run with the bike so that you can get off. Because you couldn't really put the brakes on and get off because you would the bike would fall over because your legs are still very short. Well, I hope you all had a great day. I've been very busy putting together the Shed Wars video. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of work, but it's going to be, I think, well worth it in the end. You will be shocked at what you see. And if you see yourself, I thank you for letting me put you in. I um, am really working at this. I am trying stuff that I've never done before. So it should be very interesting. But I will, you have to wait. Just like everything else, we have to wait. And so it's patience. My daughter was here today, Emily, and she was talking about the millenniums. Everybody blames the millennium. I think it's the millenniums. And she she was trying to tell me that it was Gen, Gen X or Gen Z are the younger kids. I don't know what generation. But she says, we had dial phones. We know what they are. And because I guess a lot of the jokes are made towards the... the um, Millennium, millenniums, whereas I'm a baby boomer. So the baby boomers, I tell her, we're the best batch um, babbling now. So we'll just have to say goodbye, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.